What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into my good sis voice. Uh, Dear Taylor speaks out on viral shirt. Let's get it. Dear is revealing the truth behind the viral shirt that had everybody, including Queen and Ken Tolkien. Dear post story time. Legit had everyone fight for their life over a top. Let's rewind though. The shirt that says, stop copying me. You're not even doing it right. But let's backtrack because shout out to social media coordinator for Laura Vey for inspiring this look. When we had our final team meeting to finalize the Laura Vey and JT collection rollout, she showed me this top on Zoom meeting and said I needed to get this shirt and wear it with the Laura Vey JT shades. I'm like, wait, yeah. I actually already have this top had it for years lol just never wore it y'all know i'm a fashion over ambassador so i damn near had everything on their website and this top happened to be one and the exact one she was talking about and what are the odds my organizer was working at my house this day so i text like have you seen this too because y'all know i moved it all my been in boxes and she lo and behold had just folded up so of course i text the <laughs> best social media coordinator in the game and i'm like girl she found the top i'm a packet for japan and she then said perfect i'm excited for the pits and if you need any ideas for captions i got you and yes, she'd be helping me with my captions because she's too fire with it. Fast forward to April, Fair. I post these pits for day one look in Japan and baby, who knew a simple shirt yes, Lord Bay would go viral? All this commotion, we had to even announce the drop, mind you. Now that's what you call marketing and that's why it pays to have a fire behind you guess she knew it was gonna do what it needed to do p.s the lord bay jt launch was successful thanks to y'all you the goat had everybody talking good job my girl and that my friends is what you <laughs> not put a picture on there who thanks to y'all you the goat had every oh hey for everybody talking good job my girl and that my friends is what you call marketing the end the shape for us recently <laughs> apologized to brooklyn queen on his stream in my previous video brooklyn queen was upset that the shape was asking jay single was he messing with her while he was streaming and also while the shape was apologizing he was trying to get brooklyn queen to squash the beef with his sister brooklyn frost and this happened oh. but yeah you and my sister gotta make up bro it was never nothing. For real. No, hold on. Actually, I'm talking about it. You and my shit gotta make up, bro. We gotta make. It we too young. Y'all too young and it shit. It was never nothing. <laughs> this nigga late as hell. Follow me, why? Huh? Y'all follow me, why? Y'all went fuck with the ops and don't follow me. I Cut. Like, okay. I tell you, I don't give a fuck. Nah, you was in that little Q and A talking crazy like about my. What? What I say? Shit. Like, come on, bro. You like asking questions and shit. Like, it was a long time ago. But like, same shit about Brooklyn, da da da. Like, oh, like, have you ever done with Brooklyn? I'm like, like, come on, bro. Like, have, I, have what? Something, something with Brooklyn, something, something Brooklyn. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you don't even know what you're saying. Something, something. Come on, bro. Like, it was a long time ago. Okay, so Q and A. Still though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, so, if, if somebody comes to me, if my sister comes to me about something, I'm gonna have my sister back with some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, as just says you, you won't have her back, but you, but you fuck with her, eh? Mm-hmm. 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 I'm waiting. I, uh, hello? <laughs> no, they, that don't make sense. I'm just saying, like, I'm saying, like, if niggas is cool, niggas is cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 actually, if you want to take up for your sister, don't be cool with an ex. Makes sense to me. Niggas. Temperamental. They got your back when, under circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Kaisen and his friends and family performed at Nicki Minaj's concert. I have one last song to do. Not all them on stage like that. Is Kai still in the building? <laughs> well, he should've just jumped on the motherfucking stage. Nigga, guy, I gotta be, oh, let's go. Hey, I hope Nikki and Kai do a collab like music, clothes, or something. Because I feel like that would be real big. Y'all know I'm from New York, so I just think it would be dope for two New Yorkers to come together and do a big, huge nah, collab or dope. something. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking. Until next time, peace. Don't forget I finally released my bundle to all of my secrets that made me a full-time content creator. Period. Get that money, bruh. I actually uh, released my ebooks too. You know what I'm saying? We was working on it at the same time. No cap. Uh, but y'all, y'all tap in. The link will be in the pinned comment. Um, girl, it's <laughs> it's five thirty in the morning. Hit the link in the pinned comment. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all, but I'm gonna keep going. So let's get into tea room video, cause uh, we got shit to do. Oh yes, 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 yes. We have shit to do. Tea room, come on now. What the day is? Did she not upload a video today? So in CJ's. Yes, she did. Vegas. Now there's been a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Talk about. 
So previously, I spoke on this whole situation with Carmen and Corey and Corey basically stating that he is technically working on his relationship with Carmen. Now, then Carmen actually spoke out about this whole situation because she was getting a lot of hate. So she went on to Twitter and stated at this point in my life, I learned that damned if you do damned if you don't, I can't uh -huh. waste my time and energy explaining my life. No, just keep it hot in the beginning. You won't have to explain <clears throat> Every time something is out, who support me is for me, not my past, my present, or for what my future gonna be like. Now, she also tweeted out something else. Now, I did read these out in my previous video, so if you guys have not checked that video out, go check it out, but she's basically stating she's not trying to play victim and that she's been a private person, but since Corey wasn't private, then she had to put her relationship out there. Now, then someone responded to Carmen's tweet about not playing victim. They stated, explained respectfully. What he said on the internet was disrespectful, yes. but hey, that's you. Clearly you have more respect and love for Corey than your supporters. You don't. Uh, that's her husband. Hell wrong with y'all like us and that's okay she don't have to like what in the fuck first of all that is their personal situation however their personal situation has been on the internet forever but the point is don't be so entitled to the point where you would say some shit like that you care about your husband more than you care about us <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people now then Carmen comes back in response with, I said respectfully to what I said and how you know I don't like y'all, LOL. If I didn't, I wouldn't waste my time trying to explain to y'all what's going on in my life. Again, respectfully. So Carmen is stating here that yes, she does care about her supporters and she's explaining what's been going on in her relationship. Well, people are thinking that Carmen is choosing Corey oh over God. everyone, including herself. Oh. But you guys leave. I'm over here trying to figure out why CJ So Cool uh, song got copyrighted on my video, girl. It's because he done signed a deal. Your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Diera. You guys remember the viral shirt that Diera was wearing that stated, stop copying me, you're not even doing it right. Now people assume that she was wearing this shirt to shade Kui, who has been recently buying items that Diera has in her home. And of course, them moving into that same townhome community didn't make it in fashion. We just reacted to that, yeah. Nova Ambassador. Exceptions, yes, let me know. And I got thing. this commotion and we had JT launch. Now, obviously, wearing this shirt, okay. but obviously, I reported that. that Nike and the whole family has left Las Vegas. Now, there's been a lot of talk about why they left. Some people were stating that CJ So Cool kicked Nike out of that house and forced her to move back to Vegas. There's also been a lot of talk about why Kamari had to move back. People were stating that she was failing. I even heard another video of someone else stating that Kamari got kicked out of school for something else, which I'm not going to repeat because I'm not sure if it's true or not. But you guys leave your opinions down below. Nike did go on to her YouTube live to explain what's really going on. Why Kamari out here? Like you said, it's just, it's, it's really getting bad, y'all. It's getting so bad with this situation. The allegations and the accusations and the bullshit that they coming out they ass with is sickening. And for me to stay out of jail. Okay. And for my daughter to stay away from negativity, why would she be in Vegas and I'm in Indiana? So send, send her on back. Send my baby back with me. My son. Point taken, but damn. CJ ain't gonna ever get his time with that child. My son was here. Legacy was here. Tavy wanted to stay. She could have stayed. You know, she gone. She make her own decisions. But send my kid back here because it ain't going to be none of that. None of that. Y'all talking about we letting her win. That's what she want. Honey, I couldn't give a damn. People in hot water and hot water. People in hell want cold water. 
-hmm. and they can't get it. But the thing is, I have to think as a mother and leaving my child out there with all this bullshit going on and these people saying she doing this and his and her daddy doing that. It's getting weird. It's getting so weird and it's not it's healthy weird. or safe at all. And it's not funny. It's no not funny. It's not funny not even a little bit. And I wish I could tell y'all about this little bullshit we just we just hearing right before I got on live because it's like, what are y'all doing? Is y'all sitting up over there trying to think of ways to ruin this man? And it's like, for what? For what? Because you ain't get child support. And then, and then it's exactly like, it's what. not even about child support at this point. It's really like, what is the issue? What is really going on? Why? Why? What? What's the drama? What's, what's the negativity about? What's the accusations? What's going on? What the fuck has triggered y'all man to go this far? If you got the people... You got the sauce to get the money. Where's the money on? Why is everybody steady talking about, yeah, Kamari moved to Indiana because she failed? Baby, Kamari going to be in the seventh grade, in her right grade. I told y'all before, I don't play like that. I don't play like that, not even a little bit. So for these these videos and, and everybody, these commentators, and everybody got something to say about where we at and, and how we living, it's just, it's so... Yeah, um, a lot of people like to make up stuff, and I'm glad that I don't, I don't have that in my uh, character. So I'll just be talking about what's going on. That's what I'm going to continue to do. Uh, but I feel like CJ got her back just like she has his. But, yeah, I understand why she want to take her child out of that situation too. So, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.